All right, what's going on guys? I'm bringing you another, let's just say, educational video for today. This is going to be part two of the gender master list. If you missed part one, I will link it in the description down below. You can go check it out. But let me just give you a quick explanation for all the people that don't know what's going on. I guess the best way for me to say it is... You know how you probably thought that there was only two different genders in the world, male and female? Well, you were fucking wrong, you idiot. How dare you think there were only two genders in the world, you fucking pig? So typical of a man to only think of two genders. How disrespectful can you be by not recognizing the rest of these genders in the world? So today, I'm gonna educate you on the other 100 genders with this list that I found on tumblr.com so you know it's reliable you know this shit is legit so that's pretty much it in part one we did about 10 of them and I figured we could do about 10 more in this video and that should actually finish up the list because most of them are actually really repetitive and they say like very similar things so I don't need to keep covering the same ones so I think part two should actually go through the entire list and we can go ahead and finish it off here so all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is Kale Gender, a gender which shares qualities with outer space or has the aesthetic of space stars, nebulas, etc. I'm not quite sure what they mean with this. Like, how does a gender share qualities with outer space? Or has the aesthetic of space? I don't know what the fuck they're trying to say. Like, you look like space? That doesn't make any sense. So, actually, the way I'm going to interpret this is that they're saying, hey, I'm a fucking alien. Because that actually kind of makes sense. Okay, like, hey, you want to call yourself an alien, but, you know, you don't want people to think you're crazy. So, you just go around telling them you're kale gender. You know, that's much better. I can definitely see the logic in this one now, so. Next we have cisgender, the feeling of being the gender you were assigned at birth all the time. For example, if you were assigned female, you feel like a female. Now the reason I chose this one is because I actually recognize this one. This is that term that all the feminists and Tumblr and like that whole crowd, they always throw this word around. They say, oh, you're a white cis male pig. Oh, you're a fucking whatever like they always use the word cis or cisgender right and i never actually bothered to go like check what the fuck it meant and like what they were saying i just didn't really care so i never knew what this term meant so now that i found on this list i wanted to talk about it basically if we look at this definition it says the feeling of being the gender you were assigned at birth so to use myself as an example i was born and the doctor saw my meat and said okay Okay, this is a dude this is a male and then I grew up and I now feel like a male because I was assigned a male gender at birth right that, that's what they're saying but my question is like isn't this the majority of people isn't this like I don't know what the percentage like 99% of people do feel like the gender they were assigned at birth like isn't this just basically a normal person hey man did you just say that the, the cis people are normal Normal, you fucking pig? Does that mean everyone else on this list isn't normal, you f- uh, Relax. Relax. Okay, let's all just take a step back. Uh, no disrespect by me saying that. I was just saying that it seems that the majority of the population would fall under this gender. I would never refer to myself as a cisgender person. I would just say, yeah, I'm a male, right? I, I don't know. I'm just a little confused here because it seems that cisgender just means like the average person, basically. So I don't know. But it's good to have some clarification. Now I know when I see like all these people using this term, I actually know what it means all right because before i thought it meant something crazy but it seems like i actually am cisgender so like when they call me a cisgender male pig or whatever i'm like yeah i mean i guess i am you got me so yeah moving on we have color gender a gender associated with one or more colors and the feelings hues emotions and or objects associated with that color may be used like pink gender blue gender or yellow gender all right so 
This is really weird. I'm not quite sure how this works. So like, let's say I'm blue gender. Okay, so I'd say, hey, I'm blue gender. I identify as a blue crayon or like, how, how does this work? Would you just say you are blue gender because that color has the correctly associated, uh, what is it? Feelings, hues, emotions, and or objects. Now that brings up another question, right? You know how these people always get so triggered if you automatically assume someone's gender or you automatically associate a gender to someone you know right they always get super bad like oh did you just assume my gender you fucking pig how dare you right they get real upset if you look at this definition using their own logic they are associating feelings hues emotions and or objects to colors now think about it for a second they didn't ask the color what emotions it chooses to identify as right they didn't go up to blue and say hey blue uh, what feelings do you identify as so I can correctly associate them to you? No, no. They associated feelings to blue. They didn't ask blue's opinion, so using their own logic of not doing that to humans, they should also not be doing that to colors. So I feel like they owe an apology to, you know, blue gendered people because they have associated feelings to the color blue and we, we're not sure if blue wants these feelings or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, how dare you assume blue's gender? That is disrespectful. So I just thought I'd point out some hypocrisy in your own definition, using your own logic, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you might want to fix that. All right, next we have ego gender, a gender that is so personal to your experience that it can only be described as you. Interesting. So I guess like your gender is just so unique and you just have such a huge ego that the only way you can describe it is say you. You know what? Actually, this, this might exist. I feel like Kanye might have this. Does Kanye identify as an ego gender? He might actually, to be honest. So this one might be legit. We might have a real example of ego gender. I don't know. I think Kanye qualifies for this. So we'll go ahead and put him down. I don't want to assume his gender. My mistake. Sorry. Hold on. Back up. We need to ask Kanye first if he identifies as this. If not, you know, we don't want to assume his gender. So anyways, let's let's move on. Hydrogender. A gender which shares qualities with water. They weren't very specific on this one. So my question is, what qualities exactly like? I'm looking at this glass of water I have in front of me and I'm not quite sure what qualities I would be able to share with water. I would really just like some clarification on this one because this is not adding up. How is a human being? Well, actually, aren't humans like we're like 90% water, aren't we? Hold on, let me look up these stats real quick. I'm not a bio major, forgive me. So let me look this up. All right, I just looked it up. The average human body is 50 to 65% water. So I had a little bit on the high estimate when I I said 90, but you know, forgive me, I'm not a bio major, you know, I'm not educated on these sort of things. But I guess since I am, you know, probably like 50% water, that would be a quality that I share with what so maybe I am also a hydro gender. I didn't even know it. That's crazy. Anyways, let's see what we have next. I'm not sure how to say this. Magi gender. I think it's like magic, right? So magi gender. I don't know. A gender that is mostly gender and the rest is something else. Now, I only included this because I feel like there's a typo here, is there not? It says a gender that is mostly gender. Am I missing something here? Like, shouldn't there be some sort of word in front of gender? Like, what does it mean by a gender that is gender? That, that doesn't really make any sense. So I feel like this is a typo. Like, shouldn't they have put some other specific type of gender? in here. I'm just confused on how you can be a gender that is mostly gender. I need them to review this website because a lot of these are not adding up. All right, we're down to our last two. First, we got Proxvir, a masculine gender similar to boy, but on a separate plane and off to itself. Now, the only reason I chose this specific one was because if you think about it, does this not sound like a Eugene? Because think about it, right? We have a, a masculine gender similar to boys so like you're almost a regular boy but you're on a separate plane and off to itself so can you not just imagine like all the regular boys sitting in class and then on a separate plane off to itself in the corner we got Proxvir Eugene drawing up the plans uh, for how he's gonna sneak the AK in you know what I'm saying so I feel like this almost 
classifies as a UG. This is actually a breakthrough in science. The Tumblr scientists have figured out what gender Eugene classifies himself as, and it seems to be a proxvir. And finally, to finish this up, we have another weird one, like the hydro gender. This one is vapo gender, a gender that sort of feels like smoke. Now, I just wanted to point out to the creator of this list, I wasn't sure if they knew this, but uh, a gender is not a physical, tangible thing that you can touch, so I really feel like it's not appropriate to describe it as such, you know what I'm saying? You can't describe it as water or describe it as vapor, like, you can't be describing things that are not real things that you can actually hold as if they are. Does that make sense? Or maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just a cisgender pig, but I personally think that hydrogender and vapogender don't necessarily make any sense because I don't identify as smoke and I don't think people identify as water. But what do I know? You know, I'm not an expert on this, so that's why we're all here to learn. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the list. As you can see, the last one was with a V, so we pretty much went down the entire list. I did skip some because I didn't feel like there was enough good ones left for a part three. Three. So basically, yeah, let's just go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed your lesson for today. I hope it was very educational. You know, we all need to keep all of these genders in mind. We need to make sure to check this list every day and make sure we memorize all these genders because who knows, in 10 years, if some dude comes up to you and tells you he's a kale gender and you don't know what that is, you're gonna look like a real idiot. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure you know what all this stuff is. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out